Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here. And today, I finally got a chance to take a spin in some of the new Italian DDs that are in the Early Access event right now. And you will be watching two of those replays in the background. I had a wonderful game in the Tier 6 of Aerie, and then I also had a pretty darn entertaining game in the Cuniberti, which is the Tier 8. Now you can get up to the Tier 7 for free just by participating in the Clash of Courage event that is going on right now. If you want to get the Cuniberti, you will have to throw some doubloons at the random bundles in order to get enough Mediterranean tokens to get the Cuniberti. Would I recommend you guys do that? Absolutely not. These are going to be tech line ships that you can grind completely for free in a couple of patches, so don't worry about spending any money on this event. You are literally missing out on nothing because, again, these are going to be completely free for everyone to grind in two patches. But how are they? Well, for someone who isn't really a destroyer main, I am decent in gunboat destroyers like the Cabaros and the Kleber, but those gunboats re rely on speed and range to really do well. And these Italian DDs are kind of the exact opposite. They are in your face anti DD knife fighters. And I mean that quite literally. Look at the range on the Averi, her main battery guns. Now, do keep in mind, I only have a six point commander. My other Italian DD commander is for Paolo Emilio, which some of these ships kind of do the same thing as Paolo Emilio, but. Obviously, in Poly, you don't really build into the guns. The Averi has a 6.9 kilometer main battery gun range. And e and without the concealment skill, her concealment is 7.1. <laughs> so she's literally spotted before her main battery gun range. But that doesn't really matter because you can absolutely bully the living crap out of other DDs with the sap on these destroyers. So their guns, in the case of the Averi, she has three, um, no, no, I'm sorry, she has one by one 120 millimeter gun, then she has two by 220, so she gets two turrets with two 120s, and then she gets a single turret of 120, so she has five guns in total. They have sap instead of AP. The sap maximum damage is 2850, which is great alpha. And these, this is the sap shells too, so they're not going to overpin. So they're excellent for dealing with other destroyers, as you've probably already seen in the background footage for the Averi. And these ships are great. They're very close range, very much in your face. Knife fighters. And that's what they excel at. Now, the torpedoes, too, they have some pretty decent torpedoes that with some pretty darn good reload times as well. Again, on the Averi, she has 2x3, 533s. They do a maximum damage of 10,000. They have a range of 10 kilometers, much further than the main battery guns, and they reload in 75 seconds, which is really, really, really freaking great. That's a wonderful reload time to have on a tier 6 destroyer. And in the background footage, again, you can see that these ships are great ambush DDs. If you get caught in a close range engagement with one of these DDs and you aren't in some absolute monstrosity of a ship with insane DPM like the, not the Italian, the uh, Japanese gunboat DDs or even the French DDs, you're probably dead. Now, these DDs do have a very high skill floor. These aren't the most user-friendly DDs because they do not get a heal on top of that short range. So, again, th these are very much knife-fighting DDs. They rush in there absolutely blasting away with their sap shells and if you mess up with that obviously you're going to get punished pretty hard and probably lose your ship and again you don't get a heal so there's no way to recover for that and something like of course Cabros that has that heal that allows you to play a little bit more aggressively but still there's so much freaking fun despite that now the matches you're watching they, they are by no means you know ultra amazing super unicum dd gameplay but I had a lot of fun in them which is something that we often forget is supposed to happen in this game. This is, of course, a video game. It's meant to be fun, and these DDs are exceptionally fun once you get the hang of them down. I'm not saying I'm some master of these DDs, but the matches you had, you're watching in the background, were incredibly fun, especially playing these DDs. So, anyway, on top of the short gun range, the sap shells, the no heals, these DDs do also have something that they inherited from the Paulo Emilio, and that is their smoke and engine boost. Now, it's not quite the same on the same level as the Apollo Emilio, but it's the same concept. You have a 
I guess it's not really a, a crawling no, it's exhaust smoke. That's what we call it. There's so many smokes in these game now. We have the short push smoke screen, we have the normal smoke screen, crawling smoke, now we have the exhaust smoke generator. Man, we got all smoky in here in here really quickly. But anyway, it does have the exhaust smoke generator that the Italian cruisers get, the Italian battleships get, and the Italian the Italian premium tier nine Paolo Emilio gets. Where no matter how fast your ship's going, this smoke screen will keep up with you and keep you concealed from the enemy team. Now that lasts for, well, 25 seconds on the Averi and on the Cuniberti. That lasts for 28.7 seconds with the commander build that I have on it. And the emergency engine power consumable, which is a engine boost that lasts for a very short duration, which is also conveniently around the same time as your smoke screen, 25 seconds. You can guys get the picture here, right? I mean, I, I assume most of you have seen the streams or seen my videos of Paulo Emilio where you smoke up with the exhaust smoke, pop that engine boost, and hurry up and close the distance between you and the target and shove your torpedoes into the side of the enemy ships. And that is an incredible amount of fun. <laughs> Now, just like the Paolo Emilio, the DDs do carry, again, pretty powerful torpedoes. Uh, the Tier 8, for example, uh, she has the same torpedoes as the Tier 6, but she gets a little bit more of them. She gets 2x4. Uh, the Tier 6, I believe, gets 2x3. Still, m more than enough oomph to take out a equal tier battleship, or depending on what battleship you are rushing down, uh, a tier higher. And I'm just checking the tier 10. Yeah, the the Regalo, she gets 2x4s, but theirs do 13,900. So yeah, they're weaker than Paulo Emilio's, which Paulo Emilio's uh, one rack of Paulo Torps can take out of freaking Iowa. I believe she has like Shimakaze level. Yeah, 23,767 on her 533 mil, uh, millimeter torpedo. So they're not quite at the god striking level of Paulo Emilio, but definitely enough to, if you get them all off, make a same tier battleship regret existing for that time being. And that's what makes Paulo Emilio so fun. And now you have a tech line of kind of Paulo Emilio ships that trade off their insane torpedo alpha for much better gun performance. That was a big thing, well, and currently is still a big thing with Paolo Emilio. She's great as an ambush torpedo boat. They can, again, rush the distance, get inside of assured detection, shove torpedoes into the side of the enemy team, in enemy team's ships, and then run away very quickly. But in a gunfight, she has sap, and it does hurt, but she doesn't have the DPM. Where these DDs most definitely have the DPM, to fend for themselves and take out the enemy team's destroyers, again at the cost of range. So that does mean that you won't be able to farm to your heart's content like you can in a lot of the other gunboats like the uh, the Cabaros, the Kleber, and the other, you know, gun destroyers. Because you have to get much closer. Now you can, of course, get the range out a little bit further if you want to take uh, AFT or whatever they call it now. You can boost your main battery gun range by another 20-ish percent, which will give you a bit more of a workable range. I mean, Cabaros works for 13 kilometer range, and you can get it somewhere near there with the with the commander skills, but you guys still get the idea. They're still very, very, very short range guns on these destroyers, which is, again, probably for the best, because, good God, a, another sap spammy destroyer like the Forest Sherman with decent range. Whew! That would be something else, but they're, they're, they're a ton of fun. I really enjoy playing them, and I'm really looking forward to the line fully being released to where we can all get our hands on the Regalo and see how that crazy that ship is going to be. And I've run across that ship a couple of times during the um, testing phase of it, and it is a very, very, very mean DD to run across, and one that you would not want to meet in a dark alleyway in the middle of the night because you wouldn't be leaving with your kidneys. I do have to give it to Wargaming 2 for coming up with a, another formula for a destroyer line that works and is very unique. I mean, if you think about it, like, just about every tech line in the game has a destroyer line. Some of them have two destroyer lines, and they keep managing to make these new combinations of guns and torpedoes and play styles, despite having, again, already, shoot, so many lines in the game and coming up with new ideas and making them work quite well. Although, again, some, some of their ideas for new lines haven't worked fantastically well, like with the German... Very, very, very small, like cruise in line with the German DD split. That doesn't really work all that well until you get to the tier 10. But these ships, up and down the line, guys, these ships have been a blast to play. 
I mean, I've seen some fantastic games from the Tier 4, from the Tier 5, from the Tier 6, from the Tier 7, from the Tier 8. Of course, absolutely amazing games for the Tier 9 and the, and the Tier 10. But those people that have whaled their life savings away to get those, it seems like we've got a really, really good line that's fun and competitive for their tiers all the way up and down the line, which is... Uh, such a relief because there was a lot of worries about you know this line being just like the German cruiser um <laughs> well yeah they are cruisers the German DD split where it was trash and take it to the tier 10 and it doesn't seem doesn't seem to be the case here and again I cannot wait for this line to fully come out but anyway guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think about the Italian DDs what your experience has been with them so far if you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel when we did 35,000 subs we're getting very close to 34,000 and I cannot thank you guys enough for that Hope you're all having a wonderful Tuesday and wonderful week. And hope to catch you guys in the next one.